We just celebrated Veterans Day, and November is Hire a Vet Month. And joining me today to our immediate left from Ohio Means Jobs, he is the business services manager. We have Josh Luke. And then to his left, he is Allen County Sheriff's Deputy Justin Kirk and also a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. So thanks, guys, for coming today. Thank you for having us. Okay, so Josh, tell us more about what Ohio Means Jobs does, how, how vets are kind of a priority, and, you, and, and you're there to help them out. Yeah, it's part of like the job seeker process when individuals are just in need of services, job seeking services, assistance with various types of funding and things, help getting back into the workforce, finding higher levels of employment, you name it. We do offer priority service for veterans um, as well as on the job seeker side, as well as on the recruiting efforts. So when it comes to helping find employment and pushing information out to employers, uh, veterans' informations are at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I assume some employers would really like to hire veterans, right? So you find it going both ways. The vets are looking and the employers are too. Yeah, absolutely. And we're a good source of being able to help connect veterans with our local workforce. So we have many employers that are still hiring for a lot of wonderful positions. Mm -hmm. And we can definitely give them that priority of service and make sure that their information is pushed out to employers quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, Justin, thanks for your service. But what was it like for you when you got out of the Marines, you know, to take that first step to look for a job? Uh, it was it was pretty easy. I mean, when we got out of the, uh, the process to get out of the military, we uh, you go through uh, a process where they they teach you to do, your, you know, resumes. Mm -hmm. They tr transition you into the, the, the civilian world, I right. per se. Um, and then when you get out, you, wherever you go, they kind of help you try to find jobs as well. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty easy. It came back to the hometown, I guess you oh, per se. Right. So yes. I had a lot of connections back here. Um, but I think it was pretty easy for me to find a job. That's good, yeah. <laughs> and you're with the Sheriff's Department now. So it, did you kind of find your niche? Are you happy where you're at? Because what, you said 15 years you've 15 been with years. the Sheriff's Department I, I, Yes. I mean, it was, it was easy. Uh, being in the military kind of helped. And then transitioned over to the sheriff's department, knowing the rank structure, uh, the chain of command, it kind of fit. It was similar to being in the military. I loved being in the military. Mm -hmm. Got out family because, you know, family and wanted okay. to actually start a family. So being going into the law enforcement, uh, helping people, it, it just coincided with each other, you know? Right, yeah, it kind of seems like a good fit. Yes. It, can you guys help them out with that, too? Because, like like he said, you know, it kind of fit with the mentality he had coming out of the Marines and stuff. There are jobs around here that help out military people like that, right? Yeah, a lot of employers do place an emphasis on hiring veterans. It's something that's very important to them um, culturally, so to say. Uh, but they offer a lot of steps and processes to help veterans come in. Uh, like I said, it's something that we do as far as helping make sure that we can connect our veterans to our local workforce, uh, but then employers can definitely make sure that they're using recruiting tools and things in pla place to make sure that they're receiving veteran information at the top of their list. Mm -hmm. um, so that it's definitely a very heavy mindset, I think, in our area. Right. Um, the veterans are very important. Yeah, reliable and stuff too. All right, so Justin, the Sheriff's Office, they need more guys like you, right? So yes. tell people what it's like. I mean, if they're like, well, I don't know if I want to work for the Sheriff's Office, and, you know, you've been there 15 years. So yeah. what do you what do you say? Great place to work. Uh, uh, our, our higher ups there, our call our administration there is uh, very approachable. They, like I say, they love veterans there. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't ask for a better group that's in there now. Um, and if you're looking to be in this profession, I mean, this is the place to work at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very happy where I'm at. Very good. And so. as you said, you know, you, you enjoy helping people, and and that, this is one of those jobs where you can help people. Oh yes, I mean it's. It's not for everybody, but, sure. you know, you're helping people in trouble times, mm -hmm. you know, and you're helping people get through things. You got to be, you know, it, people just look at us and they're like, oh, they're just there to give you tickets or <laughs> you know, and it's, and it's not what we're there for. You got to be a, a, a knowledge of everything. You got to mm -hmm. be a counselor, you know, you, you're helping people out and that's what you're there for, you know, it's mm -hmm. I. Couldn't be happy, more happy than what I'm doing now. That's awesome. What so. a great testament. All right. So, uh, as as always, Josh, uh, contact Ohio Means Jobs and they can help you out, veterans or not veterans, right? Yep. And especially when it comes to employment at the Allen County Sheriff's Office, hiring corrections officers, deputies, you name it, uh, we can help connect you there as well. Very good. Well, thank you both for coming today. Thanks for having thank us. You. All right. Don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.